हे गाइज वेलकम बैक एम स्मिथ फ्रॉम बैक बेंच को डायर सिन द लास्ट वीडियो यू हैव डिजाइन दिस कॉमेंट सेक्शन एंड इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू रेंडर द रिलेटेड वीडियोज सो दिस वीडियोज आर रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो लेट सी द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो जस्ट गो इन साइड द सर्च क्लिक ऑन द लिस्ट एंड दिस आर द यूज केसेस फर्स्ट वन इज लिस्ट बाई क्यू आर वी हैव ऑलरेडी यूज दैट इन आवर कैटेगरीज बार वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू यूज दिस इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन आवर सर्च स्क्रीन ओके एंड एट द लास्ट यू कैन सी दिस लिस्ट रिलेटेड वीडियोज It's very simple. You just need to set it related to video ID with the video ID. This one, and the endpoint is slash search. Anything else? No, not really. Okay. So let's first create the action creator. So just go inside the Redux folder. This is videos action, right? So inside our videos dot action, yeah, inside this videos dot action, close the sidebar. Let's copy an action creator. This one, copy this, paste this. Okay. So first of all, let's change the name of the action creator. This is get related videos. Nice. It will get the video ID. It will get the dispatch. Then dispatch selected video request. So I need to create some action types. Just go to the action types or JS. Let's say export const related video request related video. Nice. Copy this. Copy this. Second one is related video success, and the third one is related video fail. Success and fail. Cool. Just go inside the videos dot action. Now first of all, just dispatch the related video request. Redux is very simple. I told you. Not Redux. Related video request. Okay. Should be auto imported. Nice. Not nice. Still not nice. Now nice. Okay. So the endpoint is search. Search. Cool. The parameters, I guess, I can only send snippet. Let's check this. <laughs> Inside this part, yeah, it has to be snippet. So you will not get the statistics. You will not get the content details. So it means you need to make another request from your component to get all those data related to statistics and content details. Like look at the data inconsistency of this YouTube API. Okay, so I can only pass snippet. Remove the statistics, and then ID it has to be related to video ID. Let's copy this one. This is related to video ID. Oops. Related to video ID. Put it nice. The maximum result are uh, 15. And I only want to get the video. So type videos, video, not videos. Okay. Save this. And then when the request is success, this is related video success. Related video success. Nice. And the payload is data dot items. That is cool. And if anything goes wrong, this is error dot response dot data dot message. Cause it's coming through Axios, right? So that's why you need to make this long extraction. Save this. Up now. This is related video fail. The type of the action should be auto imported. That is cool. Now let's create the reducer. So inside this Redux, inside this. Videos reducer, okay. Let's copy a reducer, copy it, paste this, cool. Let's name this related video reducer, okay. At the initial state, the loading is true, that is fine. The video you can make this null or an empty array, whatever you want, and then just destructure the payload under type. The first type is selected video request, no, nope. this is related video request, Oops. related video request should be auto imported nice copy the previous state loading is true that is fine and then when the related video success just match the case related video success should be auto imported again nice copy the previous state video is payload loading is false that is also fine and then the third case which is related video fail auto imported uh -uh. this is videos not video videos this is videos and this is also videos. I'll not make this null cause if there are some videos, I'll not remove that. And then loading is false, error is payload, that is also fine. Save this, put this reducer in the store. So just go to store.js, import this, should be auto imported. Let's see, auto import you can do that. Related video reducer, come on, auto import. You can't do that. Okay, so from this videos reducer, just import related video reducer. Nice. 
and pass this as a related video that's it nice so at this point i should get the data so let's dispatch this action creator go to our skin.js find a component mount so inside this use effect let's dispatch get related videos and you need to pass the video id so id that is fine save this let's see refresh this redux and related video success i can see go to the state and inside this related video i have the videos array and inside this videos array i have my videos let's just see the array so inside this videos you can see the id you can see the snippets you can't see the content details and the statistics so you need to make another request from our component we have already done that in our video component so we'll just copy that okay so this is pretty much the same data so just go inside the watch screen okay so when i am mapping over this array this dummy array just remove this we need to put our videos array here so let's just read the data <coughs> here using what use selector const videos and loading from use selector this hook is coming from react redux again pass the selector function it will get a global state and what i need is state dot related videos that's it save this you can see this loading naming conflict let's rename this rename this to related videos loading loading nice save this and at the bottom just map over this videos array so just check if the loading is false so not loading loading not loading and end just map over the videos use an optional chaining for the safety cool okay so i need the video inside this callback function first value is my video and pass the video as the property inside this video horizontal video and what about the key let's see mm -mm -mm. inside this video inside this id i have the video id okay cool so video dot id dot video id save this and now from my experience with this api sometimes i have seen that this videos does not contain the snippet like some of the videos does not contain the snippet so at this point our app will throw error so let's go for the safety so just before mapping over this array i'll filter out all the videos which has the snippet so filter again a callback function and just check if the video has the snippet that's it save this and this is showing me an error because the name of the reducer is wrong it should be related videos just go inside the store store.js it should be related videos save this cool inside the watch screen i am mapping over these videos and render the video horizontal just go inside the video horizontal okay so first of all let's restructure the video video cool and then we need to destructure some of the data from the video so const from video first destructure the id and then from snippet let's make this multi-line uh, uh, uh. okay from snippet i need the channel id channel title description the video title and when the video is released so publish set and of course the thumbnails Hmm, that's it save this cool now what about the duration what about the view count we need to make another request so let's just copy this from the video component video.js let's copy this use effect this is to get the video details so it will set my view set my duration and this use effect is to get the channel icon okay so we need both so copy the use effects go inside the video horizontal.js put this here i also need the states just go inside the video i need all three states copy this inside this video horizontal put this nice okay so import the use state from react of course react imported use effect again from react imported okay so let's fix the error inside this use effect i am getting the get video details and it needs the video id 
and our video ID is stored inside the ID. So ID dot video ID cool and inside the dependency array this is ID that is fine. So I'll get the video details close the use effect and for this one this is get channel icon this is absolutely fine. I have the channel ID so close this use effect ok so let's put this data inside this lazy load image component so here I need to show my thumbnail so this is inside the thumbnail what thumbnail or medium yeah thumbnails actually from this thumbnails I can get the medium this structure this further medium cool so the source is medium dot url url cool inside the span the video duration is underscore duration that is fine the video title remove this replace this with the title cool number of views replace this 1 million or whatever with the view count view count is it view count or views yeah views views nice and when the video is released this is with publish at publish at nice and this channel icon I am not showing this in our watch screen I will show in our search screen so let's make a to do to do so in search screen cool and the name of the channel with channel title title save this mm, it should work let's see oh this duration this duration has to be duration I mean the duration state everything is fine this channel icon I am not showing that but we will show that in our search screen and everything seems fine let's see mm -mm. And here it is look at this my related videos i need to fix the design but i'm getting the related videos okay this is cool let's fix the design so first of all this duration what about the duration why is it wrong just go inside this video horizontal.js the span this is video top duration first of all it has to be video horizontal duration come on let's follow the bm naming convention so this is video horizontal underscore underscore duration and again guys if anything goes wrong in your code especially in the CSS part you will always find the repository in the description box so just check that out okay and I also need to remove the margin from this padding so inside this channel title let's put the class name of this p cause paragraph comes with a default margin bottom so margin bottom zero that is fine let's go inside this video horizontal dot says video horizontal dot says this is video horizontal duration and from bottom let's make this 0 0.8 rem and from right let's make this 1.2 rem save this let's see that's better decrease the font size uh, font size 0 0.9 rem from bottom let's make this 1 rem save this it's better but actually you know what let's make the thumbnail larger so just go inside the thumbnail I mean the video horizontal component and this column x is 6 so for mobile screen it will take 6 columns and for medium screen also make this 6 columns and again guys I am going to use this video horizontal component in our search screen so I need to refactor my code so let's make a nice to do uh, refactor grid put this inside a comment nice so this is md6 and it has to be md6 the second one save this refresh this yeah it's far better now i also want to show two lines of title so this line clip inside this title let's go inside this video horizontal dot says video horizontal dot says yeah inside this line clip this video title line clip just put two so it will show two lines and inside this duration the bottom let's make this 0 0.5 0 0.5 yeah, it's better okay nice and the last thing I also want to add a click handler on this video component so if I click on this video it should be in our watch screen okay so just go inside this video horizontal component when the video is clicked I mean on this row so on click let's add a handler let's name this handle click define the function const handle click nice okay so basically it will send the current video ID to our watch URL so const history I need the history object to redirect use history use history is coming from react router DOM it will give me the history object 
so just history dot push the template tutorial watch slash the video id so id dot video id actually let's put a to do here to do handle channel click nice okay let's see oh 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 what refresh and error is solved okay let's click on a video here it is i click on a video and this video is in my watch screen okay nice and now just show the skeletons on our related videos so just refresh this just refresh this when the video is loading i should show our loading skeleton so just go inside the watch screen watch screen dot gs okay so here when the video is loading put a ternary operator and then put a colon here i need to show the loading skeleton so again import the skeleton from react loading skeleton the library have installed this self closing component auto imported nope it did not now it auto imported let's see uh, 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 yeah this one this skeleton from react loading skeleton okay so first of all the width is 100 percent set a height 130 that is fine and count number of skeletons i want around 15 okay and also wrap this with the skeleton theme cause i want dark theme so skeleton theme should be auto imported from react loading skeleton nice put this skeleton inside the skeleton theme and the theme color let's copy this from our skeleton wrapper where is my skeleton wrapper inside the skeletons inside the skeleton video not wrapper okay so just copy these colors this color and the highlight color copy this go inside the watch screen put this inside our skeleton theme nice save this let's see it should work refresh this what about the height bro it's working but what about the height it should be 130 pixel refresh and loading skeleton yes you can't see actually i can see <laughs> yeah this one okay so with this we have almost completed our watch screen there might be some bugs related to layout but we are gonna fix that in our last part of this project which is gonna be refactoring part so yeah that's it in the next video we are going to work on our search screen and again guys if you are enjoying this project please hit the like button please yeah and if you are new to this channel i make videos on web development and web designing so if it somehow sounds interesting somehow please hit the subscribe button i need your support okay so that's it see you in the next video bye